Welcome Great Health to Educate. Today we'll be talking about the plant responses to the environment. So uh, let us first uh, start by analyzing what is this topic about when we are saying um, the, the, the response of plants to the environment. So remember we have done our responding to the environment of humans. So just like humans, plants also respond to the environment uh, that they are in. So plants respond to to the environment as well so a plant even if a plant is not moving or even if a plant is not a a living organism but it also can respond to certain environment so here in this case um plants respond to external stimuli so remember when you say uh, stimuli we're talking about the environmental conditions Yes, uh, the environmental conditions or things that are happening around a plant, such as uh, the presence of water, such as gravity, such as sunlight. All of these can affect the plant. All of these can make the plant to respond in a certain way. So how do plants do this? Uh, the plant uh, actually use hormones. Plants have got hormones that help them to respond to their environment. So these hormones include auxins berylins as well as abscisic acid but in this video we're particularly going to look at the auxins so uh, auxins are produced at the tips of roots and stems they are produced at the tips of roots and stems let us say this is a plant remember a plant has got a stem and then it has got some roots so this is your stem and then in some few branches here let's just say this is my plant right so auxins are produced at the tips of stems and roots this means that um when we are talking about the tip we are talking about the ends so here at the end of a stem or at the tip of a stem this is the tip of the stem uh, that is where auxins are produced as well as the tip of the roots at the ends of the roots here we also produce auxins so these auxins hormones do certain functions so this stimuli these auxins can stimulate growth or they can inhibit growth as auxins they can cause the plant to grow or they can cause a plant to not grow so the main functions of these hormones called auxins is apical dominance as well as phototropism and geotropism so uh, in this video only going to focus on apical dominance um, what is apical dominance do you want to get more benefits from this channel from only 20 rands per month you too could become a member and get exclusive benefits and even private tutoring click join on our channel page to find out so now apical dominance is when lateral branches in plants are inhibited to grow by the auxins at the tip of the stem so let us just draw our plant again let's just say let's draw one more time our plant these are the roots of a plant these are the roots of my plant this is the stem and then let me just draw branches in another color let me draw branches and then let's say these are branches at the sides these are branches at the sides uh, something like this so we need to know how to label a plant what is a stem what is a branch what is a root and what not so in this case in our plant in this plant which i've just drawn here these are the roots here at the bottom and then the stem is this upright thing and then these are the branches so during apical dominance uh, you notice that um, some of the branches are smaller or shorter so what do i mean by that uh, let's just take these branches for example this branch here and then this branch here they are shorter than the branches that are below them you can see that the branches that are below here they are what they are way longer than the branches above the plant or oh, this phenomenon is known as apical dominance as a matter of fact so now what actually happens here remember that the auxins are produced here at the tip of the stem so here there are auxins produced so during uh, apical dominance the auxins that are produced at the tip of the stem here 
inhibit the growth of what of these lateral branches they cause these are uh, these branches here at the top to not grow so long well when we are comparing with the branches here at the bottom of the plant so they inhibit the growth of lateral branches so we're not talking about lateral branches we're just talking the, uh, about the branches that are at the sides of the stem lateral just means the sides of the stem so when auxins are produced here at the tip of the stem they cause these branches here these branches here near the tip to stop growing so they inhibit growth so this is known as apical dominance that is why when you see uh, trees a tree is shaped like this something like this let's just say this is your tree why is your tree shaped like this your 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 your, your branches at the bottom grow longer than what than the branches at the top that is why all all trees have got uh, this similar shape that um, the branches the lateral branches at the bottom are longer than the branches at the top just because at the top there there are auxins that are produced so those auxins can inhibit the growth of these lateral branches the growth the growth of these um, branches that are near the end of the stem or the tip of the stem so this results in lateral branches being shorter than the ones below them and then now how can we stop apical dominance so since apical dominance is caused by auxins for example let me just bring my drawing again since apical dominance is caused by auxins let's just say these are your branches these are your branches just do yeah this will just do so here remember that um the auxins produced here are the ones that are causing apical dominance right so to be able to stop apical dominance we need to cut we need to cut the tip of the stem so we need to cut this part so when we cut this part remember that auxins will no longer be produced remember the auxins are the ones that are causing these branches at the top to stop growing longer right so if we cut the tip of the stem or if we cut the ends of the stem here auxins will no longer be uh, will no longer be produced or auxins will be removed and if those auxins are the ones inhibit uh, inhibiting growth or stopping the growth of these branches then what will happen then these branches will now become bigger because auxins have been removed so when we cut the tip of the stem auxins are removed and then when auxins are removed this will stimulate growth of lateral branches so remember that the auxins are the ones that are causing the the lateral branches on the top here to stop growing right they are the ones inhibiting the growth so if we remove the the, 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 the tip of the stem if we cut it then the auxins will be removed this will stimulate the growth of the lateral branches so this becomes an advantage for the fruit industry this becomes an advantage for the fruit industry that is why most of the time you see when they want a plant to grow bigger they cut its tip when they want a plant to grow bigger they prune they, they usually use the word prune they cut the top of that plant so that these lateral branches can grow so the auxins when the auxins are removed immediately it will stimulate growth of lateral branches so in the fruit industry it is an advantage because uh, the plants will be kept short remember that the more we cut the top of the stem the plant will no longer grow taller but because the lateral branches are growing bigger then there will be more fruit produced if this plant uh, was producing fruit and we cut the auxins there it will be easier to do it it will be easier to grow more fruit if these lateral branches grow bigger and bigger so this is just a basic introduction on apical dominance and the role of auxins during apical dominance in our next videos we'll be talking about the tropisms thank you for watching